Hey guys, what's up? It's Coke Candy here, or the Chillest Bro on Xbox Live, and uh, you're watching some more Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. I know I said I'd do more of this. Um, time's kind of gotten in the way, and uh, this I've had this gameplay for a long time. This is like before I even prestiged or anything, or you know that sort of thing. I'm using the Striker; it's a pretty good gun. Anyway, that's not what I'm going to talk about this commentary. I don't want to talk about the gameplay. Um, at all. Uh, what I'm going to use this gameplay for is to just give you guys a review of Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, I've been playing this game a lot. I got it for Christmas. Uh, I was really excited about it. And it is pretty much, I'm just going to say right now, like it has pretty much lived up to all my hype. Uh, it's pretty amazing. It's a pretty crazy game, like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, it really, really like stands out in my mind as a, as a great game. Uh, because it's just so different. It's not really like any much of anything we've seen before. Um, so if you don't know, what's unique about Star Wars The Old Republic? Well, in MMOs, normally, you don't really have a single-player storyline. You don't have a storyline much at all. It's kind of just go out and you do these random quests for people. Um, in The Old Republic, that's not the case. You actually have a set class storyline. So if you choose a class, you've got eight ch classes to choose from. You've got the Jedi Knight, Jedi Consular, you've got the Smuggler, you've got the um, Trooper, and then on the M Empire side, which is like the Sith and the bad guys and stuff, you've got the Sith Warrior, the Sith Inquisitor, um, the Bounty Hunter, and the Imperial Agent. Um, each one of those classes have a, has a completely unique storyline, so uh, a, a bounty hunter is not going to have the same storyline as a smuggler or anything like that. They may be kind of similar, even though they're really even not. Um, you know, they're totally, they're different. They're different storylines. So, that's kind of different. Um, other than that, not that much. <laughs> not from what I can tell. Um, I think it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty standard, it's MMO fair. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it, don't dive into it expecting something completely different from an MMO. I think I think this storyline does make it pretty different. I'm not going to say completely, but I think it does make it pretty different. Sorry if I said that earlier, but I'm just weird like that. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> like, Star Wars is just really, really well-crafted. All the storylines are great. The voice acting is fantastic is, like, fantastic. You know, normally in MMOs, voice acting is, like, even, like, not apparent. You know, you don't even get voice actors in MMOs most of the time. It's normally just guys who are like, oh, welcome, wench, or, oh, blah, 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 I speak in fantasy talk, and I'm British. You know, it's not like that in this game. It's it's not at all. These, it, these characters have, like, fully fleshed out voices and everything. Like, they're they're totally really cool characters, everyone I've met, I have, I, you know, there's the really likable ones, like the, you know, the jaunty, you know, hi-ho smugglers who are gonna, who are all in it for the credits, and they ain't gonna take in nothing else, and then there's the, like, there's the dark, like, Sith warrior who's, like, brooding and angry all the time, and, you know, he's always got a chip on his shoulder, it's, it's really cool, and there's guys that you're gonna love, and there's guys that you're gonna hate, you know, and then what's cool about it is you actually have, a, like, a moral parameter, you've got, um, light side and dark side, so even if you're a Jedi, you can still be, like, a huge douchebag and just be, like, you know, like, you just kill people, um, for the sake of killing them, and, like, tying up loose ends and stuff, or, or you can be a light side Jedi, you can be, like, a, a peace, a guy who's all in it for the peace, and he's, he's not about his, you know, power, he doesn't care about any of that stuff, you know, it's, it's really cool, um, that's, that's a lot different from MMO, too, there's normally not one of those, um, so, you know, now that we've got all that stuff established, what are my opinions of the game? Well, I mean, it's pretty much been said, that I think it's awesome, and I think it's amazing. The gameplay, guys, is, like, super smooth. Um, it's just, it's so fun. I mean, it, it's kind of like an MMO, like, it's kind of like a regular MMO, but it's not really, because it's not like an auto-attack. Like, you don't just click on some guy once and then watch your character just attack him and attack him. It's like you're constantly clicking and pressing your keys and stuff, and, like, you know, it's very, like, strategic, which is nice. Because in, Emma, in like, World of Warcraft or Rift or anything, I'd always just felt like I was just, like, you know, it was just more time spent. And now I feel a lot more involved in battles, and they feel a lot more important. Everything feels like really, you know, everything has a consequence and all that stuff. It's really cool. I think it's I think it's really um, fun and rewarding gameplay. Um, the only really gripes I have about the game are um, 
I, man, I don't even know. I mean, I can see it getting a little tedious with the voice acting. And keep in mind, guys, I've, I've just played a lot. I've played a lot of different classes, but I haven't gotten super high level or anything. These are kind of like, I guess I should say my first impressions, because um, I've only, my highest level character is like level 12. I, it's not even that high, you know. Um, it's a uh, Jedi Sentinel, if you're wondering, but <laughs> who's, who's asking, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, you know. I haven't even gotten to the super high-end levels. I haven't done a Flashpoint. I haven't done a Warzone. I, I really... These are first impressions. These are just, like, you know, what I think of the game so far. But I have played a lot of hours of the game just, you know, doing my own thing. The only things I have problems with is it does feel, at times, a little bit grindy. Like, you're just, you know, you're just sitting there and you're killing mobs and it's like, oh my god. You know, like, take a little bit more time. You know, it's like, sometimes it does really feel like that. But... You kind of, it starts off like that, and then as you kind of play the game more and get more used to the way everything works, um, you really, that feeling kind of ceases to exist. Like, for me, I learned kind of early on, just, you know, don't take a, don't take, like, don't do, like, a bunch of your class story quests in the beginning, and then just go back and do all the side quests, because they're going to have you going all over the place, just crazy, and it's going to take a ton of time just to do it all. Um, and plus, then you're if you don't do the quests at the right times, you're going to probably be a lower level than you should be for when you're tackling those story quests. So um, that can be a little annoying, but if you learn to just, like, as soon as a new side quest opens up, you take it, when you learn to do that and you learn kind of how the things work in the in the leveling portion of the game, it's kind of it becomes a lot fun, more fun, and I don't, almost said funner there. Um, it becomes a lot more fun and enjoyable for sure. Um, it takes a lot less time and stuff, which is really nice because for the first like few times I was playing the game, I was just like, God, this is just like taking forever. You know, you have to walk everywhere. I haven't even gotten like sprint yet, which you get, um, you get like at level 13 or 14. So I'm pretty close on my main guy. I haven't been playing much as him yet. Um, all the classes are really cool, even though the only one gripe I do have is that, you know, the Jedi Knight feels a lot like the Sith Warrior and the Jedi Consular feels a lot like the Sith Inquisitor. Like they're all kind of the same, except for the Bounty Hunter and the Smuggler and um, they, they feel, like, a lot different. Like, the smuggler has a cover mechanic, whereas the bounty hunter doesn't, and, um, it's really weird the way they chose to organize those things. I don't understand it, really. Like, they chose to give the imperial agent a cover mechanic, but the trooper doesn't have one. Only the smuggler, um, and the imperial agents have cover mechanics, which, the cover mechanics are really, uh, I don't like them. I don't, it really slows down the game and makes it a lot less enjoyable for me. So I stick away from the smugglers and the Imperial Agents. I can't really get into them. Um, but the other, all the other classes are extremely fun. The Bounty Hunter is f badass. He is so cool. I swear, like, oh my god, it's so much fun being a Bounty Hunter. Like, you have no idea. You guys have to play this game. It's really fun. If you're into MMOs, you're definitely going to like it. Like, it's, it's, you know, it's a great MMO, you know, I think. Um... So if you like MMOs, definitely go for it. I don't know if they're going to ever release a free trial. I'm assuming they would, you know. I don't know why they wouldn't release a free trial, you know. It's kind of standard nowadays. But uh, anyway, guys, you know, those are my first impressions. Um, sorry if I rambled a bit. I'm pretty tired. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, those are my impressions. Like I said, try out the game if you haven't yet, if you're interested in it at all, too. Um, anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. Bye.